Hey guys, uh, I want to do a quick video <clears throat> on something I came across on Facebook, um, just on the forums. Uh, there was this guy that came up with this idea. Um, he 3D printed these. These are two 40 millimeter fans. Uh, the fans aren't included, but you can buy them on Amazon. So for 20 bucks, he ships me, uh, I actually got three of them. Um, and it's brilliant design. Zip tie goes here and here clamps it down and it just sucks all the air through the engine um, as you guys know and like if you've seen my past videos um, heat has been a big problem with these motors <clears throat> I've uh, blown two motors uh, since then I've drilled the holes out much much larger I've got these heat fins on here and then this was just so cool um, I had to give it a try so they came in about a week um, and yeah 20 bucks shipped I, you can't complain they works awesome I went on a pretty big rip and I didn't have any problems with the motor like kind of slowing down once it gets hot or anything like that. The what's powering it is a 12 volt uh, power bank. You can see it. I have a little switch there right under the seat. I just flip it and I just zip tied it to underneath the seat. Um, I'll put links for the power bank and for the fan and then I will put the uh, gentleman's name. You can look him up on Facebook and shoot him a message for this. Um, Another thing is, a uh, little teaser, if you've seen any of my past videos, I got a, a big build coming up on a new bike. It's going to be all red. Um, so, got some fun stuff. I'm running a QS138 V3 motor. Big boy. A lot of guys are putting them in like 450s and like, you know, KX85s and stuff. Um, I don't think anybody's put it in a razor frame yet. Um, but I'm going to have to extend the swing arm probably like 10 inches in order to get it to fit. Because I'm not, most mid drives, they, uh, they're mounted on the frame. This one I'm gonna actually mount on the swing arm, uh, just like this design. Uh, I've never seen that before with the QS. I don't know if I'm gonna have problems with it, um, but as long as it's beefy, I guess we'll see. Um, another thing I'm doing is I'm doing a 12 inch rim in the rear versus a 10, because uh, it comes with a 10 and a 12. Um, I think it's gonna be more stable. I think it'll look a little bit more balanced, having the same, a little bit more supermoto. Um, I'm running a 210 millimeter rotor in the front and the rear. Um, the reason I can get away with running such a small sprocket in the rear is because the V3, QS138 V3, has a gear reduction. Uh, one to 2.3. So basically the motor spins 2.3 times and this shaft only spins once. So with the reduction you could run smaller sprocket, um, just looks better. I'm running a, a Votal EM200. This is the one that comes with the QS138. I'm probably gonna end up upgrading it. It's huge, and there's a lot of better options out there, but just to start off, um, that'll be fine. Um, here is the forks I'm running. Um, it's hard to find forks. The Piranhas are supposedly the best because they're nice and short. It doesn't raise your bike too much. They're 26 and a half from the axle down to about here. Um, all the ones on eBay and on Amazon, they're all like 29 inches or 28 and a half. Um, so it was really hard to find, but this one is 27 inches. It's on Amazon, um, and by the time this video will be released, um, it'll probably be off because that's just how these forks are. They're on there for a month, and they're gone. Um, so I got lucky. I picked these up, 180 bucks. They're fully hydraulic, really thick. Um, and I'm running a little bit more of a street-style uh handlebar I got all these risers and then this moves it forward and then another riser but so yeah that's it a little teaser for the future videos and uh, an awesome awesome way to reduce heat on uh, the 1020 motor